What up, what up, what up, YouTube here, Kyle Tillier, Sunshine the Athletic Gamer, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for coming back and, and supporting me for the second video of the day here. So I'm going to get right into this and talk about the specialist abilities first. So in general, the specialist weapons and abilities now charge at a reduced rate over time in objective mode. So if you're playing games like Domination and Hardpoint and all that, your, your specialist ability is going to charge at a slower rate. The corrected test text descriptions for specialist weapons, multi kills, which unlocks specialist epic. I don't know what that is, but um, okay. The outrider, the vision pulse uh, ability, recharge speed has been slightly reduced, which is pretty interesting, honestly, because like it only lasted like two seconds. So honestly, I feel like to make up for how short of a an ability it is, they need to recharge a little bit faster, but. Anyways, the Nomad, they fixed an issue with the unlock requirements for the ninth helmet. I don't know if that was better or worse. I haven't had a chance to look at it. But rejectability recharge speed has been slightly increased. Oh, Lord. They are they are improving the last stand at Black Ops 3. This is, this is a tragedy. The Hive trigger radius slightly reduced. So that's decent because they would drop those freaking little those little gnats on the ground and then like if you're just looking at them they attack your ass. So that's decent. With the Reaper, the scythe has been uh its ammo the the ammo on the scythe has been reduced to 200 from 200 to 160. So minus 40 bullets there. The fire break heat wave ability recharge speed has been slightly increased. Um, that's interesting. I haven't actually played with the fire break too much. I mean, I have here and there, but he's, I don't know. He's not really my favorite. I don't know. It's just my play style or something, but he just hasn't done much for me. So moving over to the weapons now, this is probably what everybody really wants to see in here. The, uh, general long shot distance setting update for each weapon class. Okay. That's decent. Fix an issue where some damage from shotguns ha was getting reduced when the long barrel attachment was equipped. Haven't ran into it, that issue, haven't had the long barrel attachment on my Argus shotgun yet, the most overpowered shotgun in the game. Fixed the launchers, not earning weapon XP for destroying vehicles. So, decent, make sure everybody's getting their points. Quick draw ADS speed bonus for LMG slightly reduced. So that's that's a that's pretty nice actually because the LMGs before any of these patches were available they um, they were like pretty much assault rifles. I mean you could run around the map like it was a freaking submachine gun and aim like it was an assault rifle. So the, the LMGs were definitely overpowered and uh, they they nerfed those. So that's decent. The uh, submachine guns the VMP ADS time slightly increased to match other. SMGs. Hip fire spread slightly increased to match other SMGs. This is the VMP. The VMP that we all say is overpowered or one of the best submachine guns in the game. Moving on to the Pharaoh. The close damage range slightly reduced. This Pharaoh, dude, this thing wrecks people. It is it is insane. I love this weapon. My favorite submachine gun in the game, along with the Razorback. The damage range increased. That's nice, because this thing has a lot of range on it. So to increase the damage, um, I haven't. I gotta. I have to test this gun out because I love the Razorback and I love the Pharaoh. So can't wait to use those. Get some gameplay for you guys. The KN44. Moving on to assault rifles. Fix the ADS view for the iron sights when a clan tag or a kill counter is attached to the weapon. I haven't actually had a chance to see what those look like on my gun yet, so I'm gonna have to uh, get into the paint shop and create my stuff and all that. But the XR2 hip fire spread increased to match other assault rifles and the minor tweak to the fire rate so i don't know what tweak means if that's like increase or decrease but hvk 30 increased ability to control recoil that's decent that's decent i like that the hvk i don't know what it is I, people say the hvk is very good and it's not my favorite weapon honestly that's my opinion you guys have yours but the icr1 one of my uh favorite ARs in the game along with the KN44 and you get the KN44 really you get that's the first gun you have so that's freaking awesome how that it's a that it's a really good gun but but the uh, ICR1 they fixed an animation issue with the weapon had the Varix 3 optic and the suppressor attachment I haven't run either of those attachments on my ICR1 so I have no idea what they're talking about but the M8A7 fire rate increased oh shit they are increasing the fire rate on the M8. This is my 
This is probably my my second favorite assault rifle, the M8, and I think I unlocked that. I just prestige to second prestige, so I think I unlocked this for my permanent unlock. But the fire rate increased, fixed an issue with the iron sight when the kill counter was attached, and so decent, decent. I like the fixes to the M8. The shotguns, the KRM 262 increased lethal range. All right, put more range on shotguns. I see the Haymaker 12. Fire rate and damage range slightly reduced. Uh, uh, who cares about these guns? I'm, I'm all about that Argus, man. The ADS time for the Argus was increased. The close range damage increased. Oh, they're making this thing even more overpowered. You have got to be shitting me. So I got to get another Argus gameplay for you guys. Jeez. So light machine guns now, the BRM, the ADS speed slightly reduced. Like I said, they had to uh, they they fixed all of the light machine guns because they were just they were just on a different level. The dingo increased ability to recoil or to control recoil, so that's actually an improvement to that. The gargon or gorgon, the clip size reduced from 50 to 40. ADS time has been slowed down. No longer detail no longer deals extra damage to vehicles without FMJ. Increased recoil, increased hip fire spe uh, spread. They did so much to this Gorgon. It is unbelievable. But that's actually going to be it for this video. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my channel. I always appreciate it. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Stay tuned for part three where I talk about the campaign and zombie patches. And YouTube, I'll see you next time.